So welcome back to another Kim and Johnny Q&A video. And the reason why we're doing this is because about five years ago we did a Q&A. We thought, would anybody even be interested in this? <laughs> we really didn't think anybody would be. We got a lot of questions and we answered all the questions as best as we absolutely could. And we thought yeah. we'd do an updated yes. version now, five years later. So we went on Twitter and asked all of you for questions. We're gonna go through them as much as I can. I got them on my iPhone right now, and I just put all the questions out of order. It just seems to do that, so I mean... It, it, Still makes it exciting. It makes it exciting because it's completely, uh, a lot of these are completely random. All right. All right, the first question is from Alistair on uh, Twitter, and he says, are you going to have more babies? Wow. Yeah, um. just directly to it. Just, <laughs> just, directly just to go it. through it. Uh, Probably not. No. Only because we're really happy with the one that we have. Yeah. And we just look forward to doing a lot of things with her. Yeah. And we find that the three of us will be able to do. Yeah. And I think um, a lot of people are always asking us, oh, you guys having kids? Are you having kids? And we didn't know if we could. And then yeah. it was a pure miracle that we could. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we had a, a very taxing time. Uh, with her and because and she, she needed a lot of work done and she's doing really great now. Oh, she's and we're, great. <laughs> yeah, so we just feel it's a blessing to have just her. Just Yeah, I feel good with that. Yeah. Okay, next one. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, this is for you, Kim. This is from Powell uh, Dragon. He says, hello guys. So Kim, what was the most confusing thing Johnny has ever done? The most confusing I, thing I you've this. ever done? Yeah. I think it'd have to be the movie. The movie, yeah. that's a good one. Only because I never really knew how to do a movie at the time. Yeah. You did. I mean, you went to school, you had an idea of how to do it all. Yeah. But being thrown into the process, I thought it was very intense, very all over the place. Yeah. I mean, I do photography on the side, so yeah. mine's just kind of, you go there, you shoot, you leave. Not as simple, but yours is planning everything from costume to script to lighting to the post-production. To me, that was a lot. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, I, I did a movie, maybe it was about nine years ago now, and I put it on YouTube for free. And it was just a, a fun, uh, you know, like fan kind of style of movie to do about the show. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of fun, but we didn't realize it would take three years of our lives to make. Yeah. So that was kind of crazy. So that yeah, was intense. that was, it was this, crazy, I, confusing. <laughs> and I just remember at the end of it saying, I can't wait to get back to a normal style of life because yeah. that was way too much. Okay, this is from Sloth. Sloth? <laughs> <laughs> What's changed on YouTube since you uh, started and do you think the format you started with back then in a way could survive in today's YouTube climate? Thanks. Oh, that's interesting. Well, it was, a, it was like the Wild West, uh, an open playing field back then. So when I put all my games behind me and did all this kind of stuff, nobody had done that before the same way. Right. Yeah, there's the angry video game nerd doing his thing, and I was doing my thing where I'm going to talk about all the games I like, which was a weird concept. That concept worked then, and it still works now. I just feel bad for a lot of smaller channels that come in mm -hmm. now, and there's already like a, such an existing YouTube population in the gaming side right. of things. So it's hard to break through. It's and not it's, so niche anymore. Yes, yeah, it's not so niche, and I, I don't know if I could have broken through this way I did because I, I was like in the, there at the beginning pretty much, and so yeah, I, I think though with a winning idea, there's so many uh, cases of people coming onto YouTube and doing extremely well in like a year. So I mean, if you got a good idea and and you, you really want to follow through with it, I think it can absolutely work out. Perfect. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, this is from uh, Megan Kun. Uh, what is Kim and your uh, top favorite anime, and do you share any of them uh, among each other? And what did what got Kim into anime? What got you into anime, first of all? I think what got me into anime was uh, when you lent me Totoro. Oh yes. Is that yeah. that's considered an anime? Right? It is an anime. <laughs> why? Why? Because it's a cutesy thing. It's a cutesy thing. Oh, yeah, you think that anime? So anime is just like hentai and blood and guts. Well, and, yeah, hentai. But, <laughs> no. but yeah, no, no. It was a, it was Totoro. I remember you lent it to me, and I had it on my old old iMac. Yeah. 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 It wow. It was insane, and I loved it. I thought it was the greatest. I think thing. I lent you the DVD. The DVD. <laughs> yes. And you can play on that. Just sitting there. Watching that, I loved it, and then after that, the introduction of yeah. of anime started. I think we're both a big fan of City Hunter. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah that's a big thing. We're, <laughs> we we actually really like City Hunter, Love the anime. Love City Hunter. We think it's funny and it's it's crazy and ridiculous. I don't think it could ever be done now. No. <laughs> and then even the other night we watched uh, Jackie Chan's uh, oh, yeah. City Hunter. 
God, that was weird and hilarious. Go, it's so <laughs> ridiculous, but hilarious. It's yeah. it's on Prime. Go check it out. City Hunter. Please. What else? What else? Um, uh, other other favorite animes. I mean, we just watched that Ariel. Bo Bo Cher. Um, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, Cowboy Bebop. Oh my was... God, I bawled my eyes out. Yeah. At the end. Oh, I wasn't expecting. It was nice because it was nice to show Kim that, and it was great because I'd watched it like 20 years ago, and yeah. so to watch it with Kim, I'm like. I feel that it holds up and it was nice to see that it does yeah. and it still moves people to the stage. I think yeah. it's timeless. Yeah. I think anybody should watch Cowboy Bebop. Okay, Carl Vas Vasco says, what is your favorite Fatal Fury game? Oh, what is your favorite Fatal Fury game? It's easy. I mean, these things are so simple for me. Uh, <laughs> Fatal Fury Special is such a great one. I love that one uh, the most. Uh, but I, I gotta say, Mark of the Wolves, uh, that is absolutely where it is at. Oh. Okay, this is kind of an interesting one from Rodrigo SPTD says, How does COVID affect your family, personal, and gaming life? Much love. Um, I think it's been a crazy year for everybody. Yeah. I think it's really put everybody through the ringer, a hundred percent. I mean, we're all like, oh my god. I mean, yeah, you know, in different places, you know, handle it differently. Yeah. And all of that. We just we just tried to stay in. We we had a baby, so we just stayed in with our baby and looked after. It was gonna happen anyway. Yeah, we had, it, it worked out perfectly for us because we had a, a, a newborn at the time. Yeah. So we just could. We were gonna stay in anyway. So it, it didn't really affect us too much. We didn't see family and that friends. That's probably what really sucked is that when you really needed help, yeah, we couldn't have anybody. There was no so help it was just us. us. Yeah. Which is fine. I, and I think that was a good growing thing for us. It made yeah. us kind of uh, level up and evolve, yeah. and all of that. But <laughs> it's kind of nice. Things are kind of getting a little bit back to normal. Yes. So we're very very thankful thankful for that. Definitely. Um, um, I'm just trying to think. Somebody's just stating in a thing. Um, oh, uh, Jordan uh, Glaza says, favorite vinyl to listen to while you grinding games. Mine is Discovery by Daft Punk. So maybe just... Um, Daft Punk! Oh, yeah, we love Daft. Love Daft we we Punk. love Daft Sadly Punk. Sadly broke up. Yeah, it's, it's well, they kind of just retired I type know, of thing. Call it a day. What is your favorite chill out vinyl though? I gotta say anything from Aurora. I knew that was gonna happen. Aurora, I love her so much. Yeah. She's an amazing singer. Please go check her out. I mean, on a sidetrack, I took John to one of the concerts, not thinking you'd enjoy it at all. Yeah. And you were really into it because she is so oh, into her own music, and you just get really involved. Yeah. That, you know what? When we went to see that that concert that night, I was just going, you know, I was thinking, I'm going for Kim, and Kim's gonna, you know, she's gonna enjoy this. I'm, I'm going to support her because she comes out, supports me. So we'll go on and do that for each other. Yeah. And so I went, kind of not with low expectations, but. I was really, I really had a good night. Yeah, yeah. Was, we had such a great night. I, I was love like, that putting was on. Awesome. You bought me the vinyl, and yeah. I love putting it on, and I just like ran away to it. But what's what's yours? Um, I think my it's just gonna sound funny. My favorite uh, album of all time is Joshua Tree, uh, by U2. I love it. I think it's the perfect album. I think it's the you know the approximation of that. But mm -hmm. I, I really like listen to that. But I. Pff, you should see in the other room. It's I, insane, I'm, his collection. I'm, yeah, but I'm always listening to vinyl all yeah. the time. I'm just like, I'll bring out one record, put it on, yeah. one song. I'm like, that's good. And our and baby then, just starts dancing to it. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> he's getting into video game music. <laughs> yeah, and, and anime, which is really yes. good. Um, okay, so from Jack Dowd, he says, what is the first game you remember playing together? That's Dra an easy one. Dragon Quest Nine. Dragon Quest Nine. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was the first one that yeah. we did together. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, didn't we do uh, Scott Pilgrim first? I mean, I think... Mm, no, 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 no. No? No, I'm pretty sure it's Dragon Quest IX. I, okay, I remember going to Walmart, and it was just after you gave me Totoro. Okay. For a little while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, it's, you, because, you know, the thing, Scott Pilgrim, you were still just coming over and hanging out. I mean, mm. so, I mean, I don't know. We'll, we'll check on that one later. Okay, so so uh, Luis Santos says, Did you beat Kim in Street Fighter Alpha 2 with your hands behind your back like you did to Rob? Yes. I think he's done it. He's walked away. Yeah. You walked away and, and still kicked my butt. I feel bad even with my nephew. I Oh my god, when he came over uh, a bunch of years back, I just absolutely, I was like, I was fucking, I took You're not photos. the uncle that just goes, you know what, I'll just let him win. No, 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 you gotta be like, I gotta No, we're very, we're a very competitive family, so it's like, <laughs> we're, we're, we're all like having a lot, a lot of fun there. Yeah. Um, uh, Super Nintendo Chomer Char 420 says, uh, what do you think of the Steam Deck console? I haven't talked about it. Um, oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a, 
uh, like a, a handheld that you can play uh, PC games on what? through through like Steam, the Steam games. And oh, that's cool. I I think it's cool. I'm not against the idea. Yeah. I never did any videos on it. I was just like so many other people were doing, it, and I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna wait for it to come out and see oh, okay. see see how it kind of comes out. Very cool. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. This is good. Um, uh, Love you, or is it I view? Uh, it says, question for Kim. Have you ever had a case of gamer rage while playing a video game? If so, what <laughs> game was it? Oh, I can tell you the games. I, I'm here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm of always course. Here. Of course I've had gamer rage. Oh, yeah. I'm not a not a calm person when it comes to that, when something's kicking my butt or yeah. when I should be killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, was it uh, Dragon Quest uh, Swords? Uh, Dragon Quest Swords, yep. but it was also uh, Persona. Uh, four. Remember the baby that kept reconfiguring? Oh my and, god, just see, now! See, see, see. And uh, I don't know, oh, oh, Dragon Quest Builders, the the, the bird that was flying around, oh, destroying shoot. you. Yeah, you yes, when, yes, because I kept building all these awesome towns and it just annihilated <laughs> me and I remember screaming oh. on top of my life. I remember, I remember a little, little, like hiding in the other room and kind of laughing. Like, it was like, like literally, so funny. John just goes like, I'm gonna go away now. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Cassie Cage writes, uh, new things you're seeking to accomplish on the channel. Oh, that's a good that's one. That's a cool one. I mean, what would I like to do? Yeah. Like some of the things I, I would like to have more guests on the show, but because of like the COVID times and, yeah, and all of that, it, there's a, quite a few people I've talked to to get them on. Mm -hmm. And um, I have some people in the, in the future like, that I would love to interview and talk to and yeah. it'd be really awesome. So I'd like to do more interviews. I, I really enjoy those. Those are a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, it's something that's fun for the show. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Lucky says, how has becoming parents affected the amount of time effort you put into video games? Well, of course it's affected it. Yeah, like. and, and to, <laughs> just, just so you know, I will answer this, because a lot of people have asked us how we do our time management, so I might as well just answer okay, this question. Okay, so, so overall, yeah, the time management thing yeah. is that when it came to sleep training, yeah. that was probably the major thing I wanted to accomplish so that you and I could have time together. Right. So meaning she naps what two naps that's an hour and a bit and then we have two night uh two hours on the evening together yeah in order to even done that was to do the sleep train so we could do things okay together so, so yeah I, it's kind of explaining all that is that, is that the, the, the baby has like two naps during the day yeah, that's good. So, yeah as it cam said but yeah. then we put the baby to bed at seven seven and uh, that's when we have our time yeah to and she sleeps watch movies yeah to video game together yeah that's to do to do together yeah. but then uh, Kim goes to bed early and gets up early with the baby yeah and I stay up a, a few more hours yeah. to work on videos if I'm gonna do that and stuff like that so the thing is that I've always said about the show because we got this five years ago before we ever had a baby how do you do all the stuff that you do yeah because there was a time when I was working 60 hours a week I was doing the show once a week I was doing a weekly podcast mm. I was working on a movie yeah. that was full on and we were planning our, 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 like our, a, wedding. our wedding, which was insane. And I was doing all of those things at mm -hmm. the same time. And people were like, how can you do that? And it's just like, you just got it a lot. We actually make schedules for every single thing we do. Yeah. Everything is on the calendar. This is happening this time. We're going to do this at this time and all that. But our, I'll tell you this much. Our daughter gets more time with us than anything in the world. It's, it's crazy. Like right now she's sleeping. That's why we come and do this <laughs> yeah, video. Well, but when she's up, I mean, we're with her. We take her to the park every day. We, I mean, oh, yeah. like our, we decided to have a baby uh, and, and that baby's ahead of everything else. Yep. It's ahead of me and Kim. Mm -hmm. It's ahead of the show. And I did take a couple of weeks off here and there uh, for the show when I, like Kim uh, and, and the baby, we really needed to focus on her. And the baby's yeah. had operations on it. And nobody can see what happens behind the scenes for us. We're doing we do so much, yeah. and so much happens, and I, I think we had very good at balancing it. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, you just do. You just do? You just do it. You just do it. You don't think you can, but honestly, you just yeah. you make it work. Yeah, I, I mean, having a newborn, I mean, that, yeah, that, that, was, that, that was hard. That, <laughs> that, that, that first three months is unbelievable. <laughs> um, Eddie uh, Vaccaro okay. uh, says, what is the worst game uh, that you have put the most amount of hours into? I'll put that to you, that's a weird one. Hmm, hmm. Do you know what my answer is going to be? And just I, I, I've made an entire episode about it. It's Final Fantasy XI, and it's not because it's not because the game was a terrible game. I was addicted to the game, and I don't like the game because I was so addicted to it. And I spent so many hours into that game, and I really kind of 
yeah, I wasted a bit of a chunk of life, but I had fun, don't get me wrong, but I didn't like how addicted to an MMO I got, so I kind of resentful for me and okay. that game. It's weird. So, what about you? I think it was Bravely Default. Oh. Only because it was a good game up until the end. Yeah. And it just killed it when you just kept going over and over Bugs and over, Amanda. and it was like, this is getting repetitive, it's getting annoying, it's... I don't want, like, you're at the end, so you don't want to end the game, yeah. right? But you feel like you owe it to yourself to do so. Yeah. That was probably the one game that I was kind of like... It was a frustrating ending, it right? It was a frustrating ending. It was a frustrating yeah. ending. Yeah. This is a tough one. Uh, Blake uh, Wachetel says, I had to read this because it was quite long. Hey guys, what's the, t uh, uh, what's the two of you, uh, you, the hottest take on video games? Uh, could it be about whatever? Um, anything you think is overrated, underrated, or our hottest take? Like something that may be like a controversial take on video games. Um, I don't know. I've talked about everything. I, I okay. I just my main thing. My biggest pet peeve, and this is this is I'll, I'll get a hot take right here. Um, releasing, and I know we have to do this now, yeah. but releasing oh. a game and it's not complete. Yes, dude. Just, just. Maybe. Extend the dates, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Make it perfect so you don't have to fix bugs and bugs and bugs. I know. When you put a band aid on a wound, yeah. it's not fun. Don't do that. Back in the day, when yeah. I bought a video game like this, the whole game was there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're there from the old school days. And so I just, even on the disc, yeah. I want I want most of the complete game. Yeah. If they want to update it and fix things, sure, that's okay. But maybe put the main game on. The main game's not on a lot of discs. Oh, for sure. I mean, there's, there's a lot of Switch games I haven't bought because the game isn't just downloadable mm. from the, the car. It's like, no, I want the cart because I want it on there. Sorry, there you go. You got your hot. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, do, 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 do. Okay, uh, Percy uh, B Bashi Shelley says, How is Kim's journey with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and the rest of the Xenoblade games going? Well, I think that's put on hold, isn't that's it? That's on hold right now, and yet I really, yeah, I want to play it, obviously, yeah. but I'm just doing the Dragon Quest thing right now, one, two, and three, so once that's complete, I'm probably going to stick my life in his blade <laughs> and do all the side quests. <laughs> that's absolutely. Um, Stull says, where do you get your awesome shirts? I guess video oh game shirts. Oh my god. You have a shirt that Tell him. Tell him. The closet is so full of black shirts and like <laughs> different video game things that I swear to god you can wear a shirt every day for a year and a half. Oh, I think even longer than Probably. that. Probably. Because so, you don't want to let go of shirts. You're like, well, I wore this when I was 20. And, <laughs> you know, I went to this anim anime <laughs> thing. And I just, I can't give it up. I'm like, you sure? No, no. Yeah, this it, game was released on this day when I wore this shirt. Yeah, so, so can I explain something? I want to explain the shirt addiction. I think we should just do an entire episode on that. Because oh, God, it's insane. You have no idea how many shirts I have. It's, no. it's, and I think what happened is, when I was younger, there was no video game shirts. There was, there's sense. no there, like you get one you get one once in a while. Like we've talked about the infamous um, Final Fantasy VII yeah. shirt you got for pre-ordering. Was I wore that shirt had holes in it because I was so excited to have a shirt uh, that had uh, like a video game on it. So when I got hypnotized to to quit smoking, yeah. she asked me other things I wanted, and I said I wanted to dress better because I just I just I had to dress like a loser. You just didn't back care. Then. I didn't really care back right. then. Um, I, I cared, but it, you know, the clothing didn't show that <laughs> at the time. So then I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy, and I saved so much money from smoking. I was saved so much oh, money. Oh, I bet. So I was like, you know, oh, a bit here, a bit there. And then, so, so the question also is, where do we get the shirts? I found eBay. eBay, Redbubble. Redbubble for really weird ones. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, really like, good. That's the obscure place if you really want a strange one. Like my Fantasy Star original shirt got from Redbubble because right. it's a place uh, you get a Hot it. Topic. Hot that's, top that's hit and miss. It's hit and miss Hot, hot topic. topic. is interesting. Sometimes you walk in there and you look up and you're like, oh my, oh my God, God, it's a Pocaroso Crimson yeah. Pig shirt. And I'm like from, holy cow. So you buy that and other times you go in and it's like, Oh no, it's all generic. Yeah, yeah. It's all generic stuff. So it's, it's hit or miss with the hot topic, but man. Yeah, but Redbubble, I think uh, that'd be a good place to go to. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> this is good. Is it, I already know the answer. Oh, no. Vin Diesel. Uh, Vin Diesel? No, yeah, yeah, yeah Vin <laughs> that's Vin Diesel. Uh, Vin Diesel Tutando says, What is the first movie you guys want to show your daughter? Um, <laughs> and what was the first movie that you and Kim watched together? So, so, so Kim knows because this is funny. So at Christmas time, um, 
I put, I have this little video, it's only for us, obviously, of our daughter watching like Matrix Reloaded. She was just laying on the oh bed God. and I and I had the Matrix Reloaded playing and she was just kind of like, she's a little baby. And she's just sitting there, so I went behind. Five months old going, what? Yeah, so she's just looking up and it's like those hardcore fighting scenes and it looks like she's just totally enjoying it. It's so funny. <laughs> she had no idea what was going on. And then I think, yeah, and then I, I, sat, I sat, I mean, I think like, uh, you know, Alien 4K was playing. I know, you just want to play all these like, no, no, things no. that cause nightmares. No, 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 she was too young. <laughs> she was too young to even understand what was going on. But I, I, I just wanted to laugh to say, yeah, her first movie was, was Alien in 4K. 4K. It's so funny. Funny. Her, 4K. Hey, her first music she ever listened to was Conan yes, the Barbarian. Yes, I know. Wow. <laughs> you know, and they said, um, what was the first movie that we watched together? I know together? what the first movie was. Train Spotting. Was it really? It was train spotting. Oh man! Six a.m. Yeah. in the morning. Let's yeah. put it on train spotting. Yeah, because because we worked the the late shift yeah. at that time, yeah. and so we were real night owls. Yes. I didn't go to bed till usually five in the morning. Yeah, so we just put on train spotting. That yeah. was the first movie we ever. Yeah, seen. we well, we were out clubbing and stuff, and then we came back. <laughs> came and back to. Do you know what was? Do you know what was? We had those Jager bombs. Yeah, that's probably what. And that's what kept us up. <laughs> And then, so that's why we sat up and watching Trains Fun. That's yeah. so funny. Thanks for the questions. Right? These are fun. <laughs> memory lane. <laughs> oh, memory lane. So, Matt Does Gaming says, will you always be a gamer or call it quits one day down the road? Mm. That's a great question. Mm. And um, the answer is, it's, it's inherently in me. It's not like it's... Like, it's part of who I am. It is. It, and it's before I had a show. You're a human encyclopedia with the amount of knowledge you have. Useless knowledge. No, no, yeah. it's not useless. I find it very fascinating how much knowledge you it's have. It's weird, eh? yeah. I know, I know. It's weird, you, you know dates. Like, yeah. historians know yeah. dates. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's not only that, it's like the anime is, uh, and, and video games are linked. Yeah, and, it all, and, but, it's and it's also And it's also linked to art for me. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, it's all a creative thing mm -hmm. that I find absolutely fascinating. So... It'll uh, probably evolve. Yeah, something. it'll change. But, but, but yeah. here's the thing. I've been playing video games for 40 years. Mm -hmm. And it's not changed. I mean... I've had ups, I've had downs, I mean, there's been so many crazy things. And video games have always kind of been there, they've been a, a, a comfort in a way. I must admit, the, my idea on video games has changed over time. So when I was in, say, the, when I first got into high school, and you're like, getting to high school is scary, like, oh my oh, yeah. gosh, high school is crazy. Um, video games, I escaped to them and tried to hide in them. Oh. There, there was that, even Rob had that, we, we mean, haven't talked about it. But I don't need to hide into video games now. No. But now I I appreciate them on a different level and where they've come to now. It's like ridiculous. Right, right. It's gone, gone crazy. Um, okay, uh, Charles Porter says, you once told us if you if you lose your whole collection, you would not be, uh, it wouldn't be the end of the world, uh, but you would love to at least save Fantasy Story. What piece of the collection would Kim save? That's a good question. What, from here? <laughs> just, just from anything, any, any, any games? Anything that, that mean anything to you that you'd want to save? Or, I don't know how you think about those sort of um, things. You got me an action figure. Yeah. And it's from Dragon Quest. Right. The witch. Yeah. And the one that Hanzo made of us. Oh, Remember that? yeah, 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 yeah. So I think that action figure oh, and nice. that portrait would be the two big things. Oh, so that, it's the emotional to do yeah, with the our relationship. Yeah, oh, because interesting. Hanzo first drew that of us together. Yeah. And that was our, that's what I gave you for our, our first year anniversary. Yes. And then you bought me the actual action figure. Yeah, that's and, right, that's right, yeah. And we'll show... We'll, yeah, I'll just show the character. Yeah, we'll yeah. show that. Yeah. And that's uh, something that I would definitely grab. Oh, interesting, that's fascinating. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. As I say, um, it's interesting. I, I don't know, like, I, I do a show on YouTube and, and I have all this stuff behind me and I think people think, oh, he's very materialistic and I'm actually not. No. It, and people don't know that, though. You know, if I lost all of this, would I shed some tears? Sure. For sure. Would I get over it? Yeah. Yes. You know, because the only thing that matters to me is Kim and her baby. That's it. I mean, yeah. and my friends and family. Don't yes, get me course. wrong and stuff like that. But that's top priority. I mean, this stuff is a lot of fun to talk about, and I like getting into it. And it's nice to pull the editions up, and I like mm -hmm. getting special editions and showing them, uh, because it's a show, and I want to enjoy sh showing you yeah. the thing. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Oh, okay. We knew this we, uh, it was going to come up. Uh, Kmak Time says, is there a first game you're wanting to share or play with your daughter? And if so, why? It's, it's What's yours? I, so... I got mine. You say yours. Pokemon Snap. 
Yeah? Yeah. What? what? I mean, okay, this is weird. I've never talked to you about this. What? Because it has photography in it. Oh, okay. You like photography? Okay, yeah, yeah. And I just think it would be something really cute for her oh, to, yeah, to it's do. Oh, yeah. nice, yeah. It's, it's, Pokemon's awesome. I mean, yeah. it has its moments. Yeah, <laughs> But yeah. I find it would it'd be really fun for her and the photography aspect of it all yeah. and the gaming aspect of all. I think it's right. a, a good like a good mix of things. So that, right. that was that's what I thought of. Right. Yeah. Um for me it would be um probably Resident Evil No or Jesus <laughs> Christ. No. Yeah. No I my this is funny because I, I get asked this all the time. Yeah. Uh, my my thing is this and um Kim gave a great answer. I like that one. But I don't think about it. I absolutely don't think about it. I, it's not in my my even my realm of thought process. Mm. I'm going on her on a day to day basis what yeah. she's into, and if all of a sudden she's like, you know, da da video game play or something, I'll be like, oh, do you want to see this or something? Then, yeah. then that's something different. Um, but right now she doesn't even see us play video games. She, no, she, she never sees. We, she, we do it when she's asleep. I mean, yeah. and we spend time with her during the time. So. When that time comes, I'm sure she'll let me know. But I'll tell you this: we're in the other room the other day, and I'm like, I'm like, she just runs away from me, and I'm so I'm chasing after her. She runs into the games room, comes in here, what does and, she grab? And she pulls <laughs> Fancy Star um, oh, on the Mark God. III off, and she's just like looking at it, and it was, <laughs> and it was just like, it was so cute, and I knew she had no idea what it was, Shows but it, the tears. but it was, a, it was a nice little funny moment. Well, right now she's into dogs, yeah. and books. <laughs> uh, Anton Ton, he says, uh, favorite novels. Novels. <laughs> this is what she's into. She loves wow. reading. Wow! Oh my God. Here we go. I'm a big, big bookworm. Yeah. I mean. It's pretty bad. John will buy me a book and I'm done it in a week and he's like, you gotta savor it. I'm like, I can't. Yeah, you do read a lot. So. I, I'm a big fan of Anne Rice. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's a phenomenal writer. I have, if you haven't, if you like D&D, and I keep, I would love for you to, to read this what? book. Is uh, The Name of the Wind. Really? Yep. Okay. Uh, I, oh, I can't pronounce his name. I gotta remember his name. Oh, uh, it's okay. We'll come back but to that. But that's, uh, he, he's a remarkable writer, and yeah. we're still waiting for book three on it. Okay. But um, I'm very much into any fantasy novels. Yeah. Things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm a big bookworm. Like, I have so many, like, Jacqueline Carey is one of my favorite writers. She does a lot of fantasy, too. And I'm big into medieval. Yeah, um, we're both are. You know, Dragon Quest and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just my, my jam yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I also like uh, murder mysteries, things yeah. like that. She just finished Dune reading and Dune. And I just finished Dune. That was a Bible. <laughs> yeah, oh my Bible. God, it's you something. go on a trip with that one. Yeah. So yeah, and I just finished Handmaid's Tale. Like, I've seen the show. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm I'm all over the Do you know, place. With I'm me, a big reader. John, what do you like to read? Do you know it's funny? I, I don't read big novels, <laughs> but 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 you know, <laughs> I like the Discworld series quite a lot. Oh, and yes. I, I'll read that whenever I can. Yeah. One of my, my one of my favorite books I've ever read is the movie's terrible. Yeah. The movie is an atrocity. I'm so mad at the movie because the book was so good. Uh, and it's Michael Crichton's Sphere. Sphere is an incredible. Oh book. yeah, I read that one too. That what do you was, think of that? I thought it was bizarre. It's, yeah, it's, it's it's got a sci-fi angle on it, and yeah. I read it in one day. That's insane. Yeah. I've done that before. I, but I, read, not I got that it from, book the, got it from the library, and I came home. Yeah. And I sat there, and I I'm not known to read a book in, ever, you know, like in, all yeah. in one go. Yeah. And I just sat there, and I just. I just, I just, just couldn't stop. That's a good. It was book. a great book, and then I saw the movie. And I was like, "What the heck is this?" Yeah. Dustin Hoffman. Oh, it was horrible. Eh. You know, it's always hard to make movie a book into a movie. It is. Um, uh, Blue says, "Hey, John, I love your videos. What do you think of the new Dragon Quest 12, the brand new game coming out, and the direction that Yuji Hori is going for?" Um, thank you for that question. I mean, I'm gonna do an entire episode on that. Actually. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm no, <laughs> no, but I'm I'm writing notes and I'm I'm I'm, I'm philosophizing about mm -hmm. from what I've been what we've heard mm -hmm. and what you know, what's this game's gonna be about. And uh, I have some good feelings and I have some bad feelings, and that's all I'll say. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, Nathan McCammon says, and I think we answered this in the last Q and A. How did you ask out Kim? How, how did we? Because we well, here's the thing. <laughs> I know I just I just, want to, I just want to explain to people. We worked together. Yep. And then what happened is we worked together, and you were going out with somebody. Yes, yeah, so I was. I was going out with somebody. Yep. And 
we had, I'd broken broken up with my person. You guys had broken up on your side, mm -hmm. and then there was a small window, kind of. It was almost like a, like if you look at it as this, a window of opportunity. Yeah. Quite literally, we just come out of relationships, and how did it go? It's kind of went, yeah. Well, we met at work. Yeah. I mean, we just got along really well. Yeah. I think it was all about the conversation, really. You're able to converse. Yeah. Meaning that there was no weird silence, awkwardness. I just felt like I knew you for a long time. Yeah. And by that, it just started building. It's like, hey, let's hang out. Yeah. And then hanging out turned into, hey, let's date. Yeah. And then dating. It just kind of, it was very, very natural. It was very natural. Do you know, I think what it was, even when our first time hanging out, we, we went and got fish and chips. We did. I, but we came back. I know it sounds so funny. That's That was our date. Remember we did our like anniversary? We, 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 we did. We uh, said that. Like, we went to that, we had fish and chips at that same day. It was so stupid. But um, I think what it was is that, we realized before, just during that first time hanging out, we were communicating so well. So well. So I felt like I've known you for years. Yeah, and that's what we felt like. We felt like we could really communicate and all that. We so, talked for hours on the phone. Was, that's how it kind of yeah. goes. And Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Somber says, do you guys have a favorite gaming uh, memory playing co-op together? I think that's Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim, right. yeah, for sure. That was so much fun. Uh, Super Nintendo uh, Chalmer 420 again. Sneaks another one in. When does Happy Concert Game or the Movie 2 come out? Never! Yeah. Um, do you know what? It's never happening. It's never happening. I, I actually, I thought about doing a comic book version of it, but I did have an entire plot uh, worked out and all of that stuff. In fact, one of the Halloween specials where Rob is trapped in my, my virtual world, that was that's part of the movie too. And we did that as a, a showpiece as well to show that this was what the movie would look like, well, the second one. you never know. No, it's honestly, I, I, in my time, I, I don't want to sound funny, it's not like my life is over, but my time in life now, I'm 47, I, and I, I got a family and I got the show. That's yeah. I, I got a beautiful balance and I don't want to push myself past that balance. So unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Um, I don't believe so. Uh, come uh, for the, come to the launch. I, some of these names are hard. Sorry all, if the names are getting. Sorry. <laughs> what did you work uh, with uh, before? Still work with Beyond the Channel? Uh, like, what did I work with? What job? Yeah. Oh my God! I've worked at software companies. I've worked at animation companies. Yeah. I've I've worked at I've worked at so many things, uh, managing quite a few people and stuff like that. So map drawing. Yeah. Oh. You would fly. Yeah, all over, over the world. Yeah. yeah. I did I did maps for a long time. It's, yeah. It's it's kind of kind of crazy. Um, oh, what is your game of the uh, of the year so far this year? Um, I oh. do you know what I. You're putting me on the spot. I already put out a video of the games, like my games I'm enjoying the most this year. So it's a big topic. So uh, check that out. That's from Ollie uh, Heath. It's it's out there. Um, okay, Adam the Kuji says, "What is the first game uh, gaming franchise you both want your kid to be interested in?" Do you know we've already answered it, but I'd probably say something like Mario, something nice of and course. something like that. Something I mean, fun. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, uh, Hect Hectro says. Uh, you don't really talk about TV shows much. Oh. Are there any shows you uh, watch or are looking forward to? Um, the Last of Us, Lord of the Rings, The Witcher, or are you not much of a TV person? I am not as much of a TV person You're as hit and miss. I'm hit or miss. Like some <laughs> some shows now are just so horrendous, and some shows are very very interesting. I mean, I just I don't have a lot of see, so time management again. Yeah. I don't I, I I tend not to watch TV so I can focus on other things in my life yeah. and get them done. Whereas I love TV. Yeah, I mean. I will watch a show and the next day John will be like, so what episode are you on? I'm like season three. Episode season three. You just yeah. started season three. Yeah, one. sometimes you put the baby down and like Kim, does you watch the show? I'm gonna to go binge, at it. I'm but, gonna. Uh, Go do my thing. Um, I, I just, oh, has, has it been anything lately? Any shows that we watched? You're watching The Office. Uh, well, I just started watching The, the Office. The Office is good. Like, I just find it very kind of repetitive. It is humor. repetitive. I find it something good on the background. Also, when I'm grinding or something. But uh, Peaky Blinders is probably one of my. Favorites. I try to watch it. It's just it's very heavy. Okay, watch Peaky Blinders. <laughs> uh, Ryu de Burninator. I like that one. Are you uh, a fan of the Fatal Fury anime? Are you going to pick up the Blu-ray edition of the OVAs? Yeah. So here's the thing. <laughs> Absolutely, we are. And me and Kim uh, years ago watched uh, all the all the movie and the OVAs yeah. of Fatal Fury. It was really good. And here's the thing that really peeves me off. Uh -oh. Is uh, that you, <laughs> I know, uh -oh. you know they release DVDs. Yeah. In the Blu-ray era. Mm-hmm. And then they then later years later they oh here's the Blu-ray. 
And so uh, they've done this to me so much. Like there, there's the Orgus box that I bought on DVD because I thought this is gonna be the only way to get it. And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, Blu-ray. And I'm like, oh my, oh my God. God. Yeah, so I will pick up Fatal Fear because I'm a fan, but I, I've been humming and hawing about that because it just drives me crazy. Kim, mm. this is from Norco. He says, uh, will you play through and review Fantasy Star? Yeah. Will I? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so particularly. I think it's because you're such an expert on it that it's just like it's been done. Yeah. And that there's no reason for me to do it. I have so many other games that I really want to do like Xenoblade. I think that's definitely going to be my thing. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, I think I think this is the time for all that. I mean, and there's that too. Yeah, that's like because Kim's doing Dragon Quest, and she wants to do Xenoblade. It's like you know, I mean, then doing my silly, this yeah. stupid old game from the past. Who wants to play this? Mm. Jesus, like 30 years old. What? Uh, hey Johnny, there's t uh, this is from Chris Petra, uh, Petri. Hey Johnny, there's tons of games getting remasters, remakes, some good, some bad. Oh. What game would you refuse to play if it was remade because it wouldn't be the same? Oh. oh. You know what? I got I got one over. It's over here. I don't want to pull it out, but it's a the 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 remake of Fantasy Star One on the PS2. Oh. I I hate the game. I, I absolutely detest it. Uh, just because they they took Fantasy Star yeah. and they, and they it's a cheap thing. It's a cheap remake, and that's what bugs me. The music's not too bad, mm -hmm. but I'm telling you, if there's one thing I wish I could do in life, I wish. I could be in charge of a remake for Fancy Star because I know exactly how to how do, it. do it in yeah. 3D. I know exactly yeah. how to do it, and I, yeah, I, 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 I would Give help it draw it with them. Give it time. I, it's probably. I could nice. draw the maps out. I could draw. I mean, and show how how to do it in 3D and how to do everything. Anyways, yeah. See, I, some things I'm thinking about. In my, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Hour later. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, Gonzalez says. Everyone has their favorite Dragon Quest. What is each of your favorite uh, favorite, and which is one is your, which one do you think your daughter will play and enjoy? Which one would we want her to play? I think oh, your favorites yeah. are it was eight, right? Yeah, eight. Loved eight. Loved the story. Loved everything about it. Yeah, I mean, we could go on. This is a whole video. I know. Just a, it's I, I'm just gonna say, like um, I've often said, four is my favorite, and mm. and we're gonna do. We're gonna when Kim finishes. Rate them. Yeah, we're gonna rate them. Mm. When Kim finishes two and three, she'll have finished every Dragon Quest game, and I have two. Yeah. And that way, we can both sit down and really, like, come up with a good list. What would you want? What for my my for, favorite? No, for your daughter's play. Oh, if yes. If you had to pick one. Um, probably Dragon Quest Builders, because it's kind of fun. It's, yeah, you, you can show her I that love one. Dragon Quest Builders. Hurry up, Dragon Quest Builders uh, 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just flipping through these, because a lot of these are uh, re repeats. Yep. Oh, this is good. Liz says, uh, what do you think is the cutest video game enemy slash monster? Mine is the blue, yeah, mine is the blue uh, slime from Dragon Quest, she says. Yes! I will say this much. It's the blue slime. It's the blue slime. I mean, I mean, it's so iconic. Um, were you thinking about something else? Yeah. Final oh. Fantasy. Oh yeah, Moogles. 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 Good, good one. Good yeah, one. good. I'm glad you didn't forget. Yeah, good that's. Good. I know. I remember when you first saw Moogle like in, a, in Final oh, Fantasy IX. You're like, oh my god, what is this? He's so cute. I even have a big pillow. <laughs> yeah, a big pillow in the other game. That's funny. But those two. Um, <laughs> red, uh, red uh, one nine uh, oh oh seven or is that zero zero seven? My eyes say it is terrible. Yeah. Any tips on how to balance relationships, work, and hobbies? What are the tips you would say, Kim? <laughs> that just seems so. What are the tips? What, 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 what tips would you give? Uh, the balance of it all? Yeah. I think it's uh, definitely having a common ground of what your both interests are. Yeah. Things like that. So, like, um, your interest in Dragon Quest thought I had something I should yeah. try, and it's something that we both have gone off with. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just introducing what you like and yeah. seeing how the person responds yeah. and growing with that. Yeah. And communication, like it's oh, so, yeah. so, communication so great, is great, like, great example, like I mean, uh, if I'm playing um, a game and stuff like that and Kim's like, oh, okay, you know what, like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll handle dinner, do something like that, that's cool. Oh yeah. And then sure. there's the opposite. We switch I'm saying, off. Yeah, so, so Kim, like, I'm like, hey, I'll make this meal. And we, we don't talk about it like, hey, I'm doing this, so you do this. There's never that, we just inherently know. One cooks, so, one cleans, one watches yeah, the we kid both, while, while we do We both work together. It's yeah. not the world that my parents came from where my yeah. dad would work <laughs> and my mom would stay home. Yeah. And they had that, nowadays, we're, we're both 
doing all of that stuff together. together. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I like being involved in my daughter's life. I mean, I mean, I don't think uh, some fathers, out, you know, not out there, not telling you guys, but I mean, some, some of the, uh, like my dad and his generation before him, yeah. a lot of those guys didn't change any diapers, I mean, or do anything like no. that. It's like, it's weird. It's like a strange thing. I'm still holding my dad to the one diaper change that he'll have to do in the future. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Wait until she's a bit older. Oh my God, you're going to make him do that? Yeah. That's so weird. He promised me one diaper <laughs> oh, change. Oh God almighty, that's funny. Okay, this is DM says, what is your biggest gaming disagreement? Is there anything we've ever disagreed on? Disagreed on? Like, if we're playing a game? No, or? something like maybe you didn't like a game that I liked or, or something, or... The only the only thing is fancy that fancy life you were playing, I just thought that went on for way too long. You know, I like, I just, 150 hours. There's hour. nothing, no, I think it was a 200 and something. Yeah, that makes more sense, because I, I knew there's a reason, I was just like, Oh my god, how long is this game I think what for? it is, is when I sometimes play games, I spend hours on it. Yeah, like a long time. And you're just like, hey, you know, we gotta definitely probably wrap it up and two months later. Yeah. I still haven't wrapped it up. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's still going. John Nostalgia Gaming says, hey Johnny and Kim, how has becoming parents changed your perspective on life? Oh god, it's yeah. completely changed it yeah. to... Happiness. Yes. Well, it, I was already happy, but it's just it's opened up so many doors. Yeah. It's made things a lot refreshed. Yes. I yeah. Think. Yeah. I mean, where we mean Kim were at, mm -hmm. we we were very happy in a relationship, but we just felt like we just wanted a little something a little more extra to share. Yeah, it with like to share it. We wanted we wanted we knew that we wanted to have a child, yeah. and then when when we, she came into our life. We were really ready for it mentally. We were really, I don't think anybody's fully ready for the newborn no. phase. It, it, it's a shock uh, yeah. at first, but the, I mean, I mean, it's added so much texture to my life and yeah. so much emotion. It's made me like emotional in a way that I never yeah. <laughs> thought I could be. Like, I mean, it, it's like, it's crazy yeah. how much empathy I have now. Mm -hmm. I have way more empathy. Don't yeah. you feel that? Like oh, yeah. when I see, I can't watch anything on, TV or anything like that, mm -hmm. where anything happens to a child, child no, not happening. It, it just disturbs me mentally. I can't handle it. And I think when you be, only, only when you become a parent, do you know what that feels like? It's a group. It's like a secret society when you a see when you see parents walking down the street with two kids. Yeah. Right in the heart, man. Yeah. I feel you. I know the struggle. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, so it's it's definitely opened up a lot of things. Empathy for other parents. Yeah. I think I think that there's a secret when you become a parent. You're in the parent group, yeah. and they're not like, oh, you just have kids. But when you're walking down the street, you're kind of, kind of going like this to them, yep. and they know. And you kind of, you know, it doesn't matter what race or nationality you are. No. Everybody has, has that, has and everybody's like, hey, you know, yep. yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and it's cool. It's been really fun. I think, like, because some things she'll do, like start spinning around in circles. Yeah. So where'd you pick that up? Like, why are you That's doing so that? That's so cute. Yeah. yeah. I, and and little uh, uh, moments have happened that would never normally happen. So. We're at the park, mm -hmm. and I, t I let Kim read, and I take the baby for a long walk, and I'm carrying her, and she's showing her flowers and all this stuff. And then I put her on my shoulders, oh, yeah. and I walk <laughs> around the corner, and there's all of these old people in a circle uh, with their chairs, and I'm like, oh, might must be 20 of them. Yeah. And they all were freaking out, the little baby, yeah. and, and, and I thought, and they're like, I said, oh, is she smiling? Because I couldn't <laughs> see. And they're like, oh yeah. And it was like, I thought that was such a, those little moments are so Aww. neat that that she opens up. So I've had so many conversations with people that we would never have had without a baby. And you know, when we take her out shopping and stuff with us, and they're like, oh, your baby. Yeah. It's like, it's nice. It's, it's, it's a, been wonderful. It's, it's been wonderful. Yeah. Um, uh, Tom Baker, <laughs> I like that name. Uh, that's awesome from Doctor Who. That's probably the person that's actually called Tom Baker. Yeah. What game does your little one enjoy w uh, watching when you guys play on the TV? We nothing. Like I said, she's asleep every time we play, so she yeah. hasn't really seen anything. Uh, Retro Zen says, least favorite Ease game? Uh, that would be Ease 5. There and we're moving go. on. <laughs> Omega92 Retro Gaming. I wonder what are your thoughts of games becoming easier or easy modes in video games? Um, I think. Um, I personally like just uh, like not even any of that. So back in the day when I played a video game, there was no yeah. modes. Yeah. Like I'd play Super Mario Brothers, there was no mode. Mm -hmm. It was just you play it and you die or live, or, yeah. and it's, it's up to you. So I kind of like that, but um, I enjoy easy modes sometimes if I'm trying to get through a game and I know that they're just padding on the damage um, type so of thing. So it's useful when it needs to be. Yeah. Right. But but I I, I like I 
basically pick normal defaults for most things, yeah. you know, out there. But I, I think it's good for kids and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, you as don't well. Want them having gamer sure. rage at such I don't, age. I don't. I don't. I don't actually. I'm not a gatekeeper with that. I mean, if somebody. You know, somebody's ha having some fun with it on easy and having fun with it on hard. I know I'm on both sides of the, that. Yeah. Firat says, uh, and it's Frizzy EZ, says, Hey, Johnny and Kim, if you had to pick one console handheld generation as your favorite nostalgia area for video games, what would it be, like, handhelds? I guess the, the 3DS was very good. I think so. I think so. I carried that around everywhere with <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's insane. That was, that's a good era. Yeah. I mean, Kim pulled out her own Game Boy the oh, other day. Oh, it was so cute. That was so and funny. And it actually turned on. And it turned <laughs> on. I mean, and it was a save from the year, was it 1999? Or was it? 1997? 19, what? Maybe? I don't know. So, it was, no, I think it was 1999. 99? Yeah. That was a, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ken's Gamer Collection says, uh, since you've been doing YouTube for over 10 years now, actually it's 13 and nearly a half years, which is crazy, how do you keep the motivation and drive to keep continuing? Okay, mm. let me tell you, let me say something about motivation to do the channel while I do it. The channel is not motivated by money. I mean, I started doing the show 13 years ago for a passion. I did, and people like talk about monetization. There wasn't even any monetization back then. I did a hundred videos. My first hundred videos weren't monetized or anything like that. And I thought, oh well, maybe if the show ever gets some notoriety, maybe I can sell some shirts or some DVDs. That's a, that was the mentality back then. Mm -hmm. But what ended up happening is that the show. I don't think I could ever quit the show because it's so meaningful to me, mm -hmm. and it's so it gives me an outlet to, to, I, the only outlet I ever had years ago was Rob, and the only outlet he ever had was with me. Mm -hmm. And so for me, creating this show, it's given me this great place where I can talk to you guys, and it's, it's, it's a pure pleasure. Yeah. It's a pure pleasure, and it's something that, I don't know, it's so intertwined into our lives, and it's a, it's a fun thing, and I've gotten to know so many great people, and there's so many w wonderful people like you who are asking us these questions. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a really nice experience, and I love being able to, rant and rave about games from the past and now and stuff and it's a lot of fun and yes um do i review games that i dislike there's sometimes but mostly i want to talk about games that i'm looking forward to or of enjoy. Course. i mean that's my angle i don't buy games that i'm going to dislike <laughs> i do some research a little bit i try to dynamite ducks notwithstanding <laughs> oh my god um uh, oh it's the same question sorry striker xl it's kind of the same question um, is how long do you how long do you think you keep doing YouTube? He says, uh, Striker XL. Um, I can see it. I can see myself doing it into my fifties and into my sixties because I believe there needs. There's not that many people on YouTube, and I'm being serious now. There's not many older people yeah. on YouTube that are like guys or whatever that are there's like like there's Joe from GameSack, which I really like, and and ACG and stuff like that, and and, and my life in gaming. But a lot of people. Uh, yeah, they, they uh, I, to give that kind of perspective, being there from the beginning to now, that perspective is great. Yeah. I mean, and, and, and that's the kind of thing I want to keep on doing. Okay, so we're going to try to get through a few more questions. We're going to answer these real quick because we're getting to the end. Um, Isha Gaming, Isha Gaming says, oh, Isha. We, know, we like Isha. What type of videos uh, and channels uh, do you guys usually watch on YouTube? <laughs> do you know what? We watch a lot of cooking shows. A lot of cooking? Like, but you know what I'm watching a lot now? What? Cocomelon! What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we watch like uh, uh, hey, hey Bear, which hey are, bear, which are like century. children. Yeah, they're, they're children shows. So we watch a lot shark. of that. Ba oh my god, Baby Shark. But a lot of cooking stuff because, yeah. Yeah. Corey, um, Corey uh, how do you pronounce that name? Corey Zinky. 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 Sorry for the name. What What is each of your favorite foods and why? Sushi. 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 Love it. Um. Mm. I would, uh, mine, mine changes all the time. We're, me and Kim are on a strict diet right now. Yes. We are like, we are like losing our, like our COVID weight. Mm, and, and yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> I'm just doing uh, like, basically right now I'm just eating, uh, you know. But what's your favorite? No, no, no. What's my, your my favorite? favorite? Um, Oh god, I mean roast beef and Yorkshire pudding is good. So old fashioned British. Yeah, and like like British breakfasts and oh, oh a beer would be so good. British oh my god. That'd yep. be so good. Sorry, I'm gonna have to sk skim through here. Um Adamanshi says, uh what was your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Jigglypuff. 
No, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I thought it was actually asking as the probably game. I was, I was thinking, oh, I thought you meant character. I'm, I'm going to say sa Sapphire for me, that game. It was, it was so good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Sen says, what game do y'all uh, most want to see announced released this generation? This generation? Like this year? Most, uh, 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 what game do you want to announce that you want to see released this gen? I, I, oh, this oh, gen. Okay, yeah. I, 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 Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, mm. Part 2. I'd like Dragon to see Dragon Quest Builders 3. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, they, it hasn't been announced. Nobody's I even said want that. it to do be here. <laughs> uh, 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 do you have any plans dedicated for a dedicated Cowboy Bebop episode? No. Uh. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. To, I saw a question um, about, about about anime. I'd love to talk about Cowboy Bebop, but I mean, uh, yeah, I'll get into the reason why I don't talk about anime too much on the show anymore. What are some uh, some games that you have to keep? What are some games you have to keep away from each other? Fantasy Life from this one. <laughs> Can you both play horror games together? Remember Layers of Fear? Yeah, it was. Oh horrendous. my god, that was funny. That yeah. was not good. Yeah. I'm not good with horror. Um, I, I gotta keep on going. Uh, so, uh, this person says, oh, Anton, again, can I have your extra copy of Ninja Wars? No, because it was a present from Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Long time ago. Uh, it's a lot of same co-op experience. I'm just trying to get through this. Are, are you picking up Sonic Colors Ultimate? I'm not a real big Sonic guy. Nope. I'm not against Sonic, but no, not, not really. I don't love the movie, though. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> the movie's fine for kids. I'd love to watch it with no, my for daughter. for kids, yeah, I think it was good. <laughs> um, okay, Justin uh, B B Basio. Uh, BCO says, do you believe we'll ever get a Fantasy Star 5? Absolutely not. It's never Aww, going to happen. Really? It's been so many years. You never know. Uh, what is your favorite console controller? I'm going to do an episode on controllers in the future. So, um, on all of that, uh, how did you, okay, how did we meet? We already talked about that at work. Um, okay, like, uh, this, uh, Steam says, uh, what sparked your interest in YouTube video creation? Where did you get the, the guts to start? What keeps you going? As I say, the angry video game nerd, yeah. it really was a motivator, and I was like, yes, I absolutely want to do uh, a show, but my own show, mm -hmm. and then just the, the enjoyment of doing the show. I mean, to do a show, you have to like editing, and you, you have to learn to edit more than anything. You have to know your post-production. Yeah, right? absolutely. There's so many questions, I'm so sorry, because we got to go and get baby uh, pretty quick here, so we're going to try to get to, I saw one, uh, Louis Martins. Uh, says, will you ever have uh, new dedicated anime episodes again with the new release of classic anime on Blu-ray? It sure would be amazing. Thank you so much. And I, I want to say this. Um, I don't do anime stuff. I'll, I'll talk about it in new game stuff episodes. Mm. But I found that when I put an anime episode, everyone's like, oh, well, we just want to hear you talk about games. I mean, so I've often thought about doing a second channel, which I don't have time for, mm. just to talk about anime and, all, you know, toys and stuff like that. I'd yeah. love to do that. But um, it's not possible uh, right now. But I, trust me, I've done so, I've got so much about anime I'd love you to talk about. You have a lot about. of knowledge. Yeah, we, I mean, me and Kim just watched uh, Arion, Arion the other night, which is just so, oh so good. The Greek gods and stuff like that and all that. And I'd, I'd love to talk about City Hunter the movie. Oh, that was uh, great. I'd, 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 I'd talk about a lot of stuff, but Maddox is coming out, Project Deco is coming out, Gumbuster's coming out. I have a list over here of all the anime that still needs to come out on Blu-ray that absolutely <laughs> needs to happen. Uh, we'll, we'll end on this one. Uh, oh, there's two. There's two questions from Ashflo Ramza, and this is a cute question for Kim. Okay. What's the next franchise you're looking forward to to play after Dragon Quest uh, uh, 12 Waiting Room? Oh, I, like, oof. what's the next franchise you're looking forward to to play after Dragon Quest? Uh, I guess he's like saying Dragon Quest 12, obviously. Uh, and will you play and record yourself again playing horror games this Halloween? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what do you think? What, what games are you looking forward to other than Dragon Quest? Uh, definitely Xenoblades, yeah. obviously. Uh, the Tales of... Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, Arise. Arise, thank you I, so much. I just showed Kim that last night. I'm looking forward to that. That's, that's pretty that's, cool. That's going to be my life. Uh, horror games? Nope, I don't like... I like watching John play horror games. I mean, I hide behind a pillow <laughs> when you do it, but when Sounds I'm in the nice. room, I get I get. We get really scared. into it. Yeah, I get, it's, no, it's, it's I get fun. freaked out. So it's fun. I know... <laughs> yeah. Um, and for you? A question for me is, uh, this is from Ashflo Ramza. Will you feature the Suicoden series on the channel, John? I know there's a spiritual successor of it coming this year, uh, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, I hadn't planned on it because, you know, Game Dave is really covering that and I think he'll do a great job on it. Um, I love this series. It was one of my first PlayStation games, RPGs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a real classic. Number two is excellent yeah. and all that. And there's a bunch after that. And uh, oh, Bob Samurai. I gotta, I gotta answer Bob Samurai here. Uh, can you show us your retro gaming setup? Do you have a CRT? If not, what sort of things, cables do you use to, for your, like, old consoles and stuff? Um, okay, this is a real quick one, an easy one. Uh, yeah, I got a Frame Meister for all my own machines that can upscale. I have uh, like this M cable for the Dreamcast, which makes it look great. Uh, I use a 4K TV Samsung, and it's uh, it's it's a wonderful TV. And upscaling the old video game machines using these Frame Meisters and stuff is the way to go. Crazy. I love it. They're expensive, but my God, Worth is it, it ever ever good? So um, I gotta say thank you so much for all the questions. I'm so sorry we couldn't get to all of them. There was more than 150 at this point. But there's one you totally missed. What's that? Do you like ch chicken sandwiches? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. By Joe from GameSag. That's, I, I'm so sorry. I just I saw that to... one today. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah, Joe from GameSag says, John, do you like chicken sandwiches? And the answer is absolutely. absolutely. And that, that, that's a joke because I, I was in an episode uh, one of Joe's earlier ones of doing the E-Series, mm -hmm. and I appeared in the video eating a chicken sandwich, and it was so stupid, but it's funny, and all of that, so I, I appreciate all the questions. We really appreciate... Love you, answering yeah, them all. Thank you for taking the time to write to us, and yeah, uh, and we, yeah we, we, I think we've already done a good hour and a bit here, so yeah, probably. I think that, that covers everything, so anyways, guys, until next time.